You've got the aircraft pointed here, the runway is there. That's good. Okay, so aim for this part. Okay, this is very good. Excellent job. Okay, very nice. Hold, don't do anything, just hold, 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 hold. Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. All kinds of different types of stuff. Movies and games and politics and some personal things and just some interesting articles that I come about and this was rather interesting. A Japanese hotel has built a life-size flight simulator into one of its rooms. Here's my wallet. <laughs> Sleep just feet just feet away from a replica Boeing 737-800 cockpit. Take a look at this picture. Look at this. I mean, here are the beds, and it's like right there. That, oh man, that just looks so cool. All right, so it can be tough getting to sleep sometimes. <laughs> yeah, go and fly flight simulator. That, that's, oh, that's going to keep you awake. Some people like to have a window open to keep the room cool, while others use the sound of white noise to drown out outside distractions. Or they use HDMR, you know. Uh, my wife really loves HDMR. Uh, one Japanese hotel has a slightly different idea about what will help its patrons sleep. A full-sized flight simulator installed in one of its rooms on a Boeing 737-800 cockpit. I would never go to sleep. <laughs> in fairness... To the Haneda XL Hotel Tokyo, it sounds like the flight simulator is meant to be enjoyed by its patrons while they're awake, rather than when they're sleeping. Well, yeah. That an overnight stay in the room will cost you 25,300 yen, or around $233, or else you can book yourself a 90-minute lesson with a flight instructor for about... $277. The hotel itself is also connected to Tokyo's Haneda Inter International Airport. Well, that makes sense. As if you needed any more airplane exposure during your visit. Why do they make this sound like a bad thing? Come on, this is like freaking awesome. So I'm wondering... This looks like uh, Flight Simulator 10, or maybe Prepared is what this looks like here doesn't really say I mean what else I'm, I mean what else could it be um, although it could be it could be a custom generated uh, flight simulator that will just allow you to fly from you know two specific locations so it may not have the whole uh, world I don't know let's see if there's anything in here that's actually a lot cheaper not to mention a lot cooler then Alienware's decadent gaming hotel room. Let's click on that. That might be interesting. Uh, Alienware built a decadent gaming hotel room at the Hilton Panama. Uh, here are some pictures there. This just isn't that cool. That, yeah, that's not as cool as this. <laughs> this is cool. I mean, come on, you got a cockpit and all these instruments and stuff. That just looks awesome. Um, the price is not that bad either. $233? That's a lot less than what I was thinking it was going to cost. It was going to cost like in the thousands or something. Anyway, um, although the room came equipped with a fairly top-of-the-line gaming machine for its time, i7 GTX 1080 Ti graphics card, that's still good though. There are people that will argue that the 1080 Ti is still a very good card, that it still holds up today. Uh, the room was priced at a more expensive $349 a night. Yeah, you, you know, if for that kind of money, you, you know, you, you could put that money down towards maybe building your own rig. Uh, and it'll last you more than one day. 
Uh, Hanita XL Hotel Tokyo's page for the room doesn't mention what software in the flight simulator is running on, but its announcement comes just after Microsoft announced the first new entry in its flight simulator series in over half a decade. So, and I do have a video about that, about the flight simulator 2020 that is coming out uh, by Microsoft. It's the newest thing that they've had in like 15 years or, or so. Uh, and it looks fantastic. It looks absolutely awesome. And uh, once there's uh, some more development with it, uh, I'll definitely be covering that uh, on this channel. But um, I don't know. Man, what do you think about this? Let's click on this link here for about the room. Oh, it's in Japanese. Well, of course it is. Uh, let's click on translate. <laughs> here we go. So here's the picture. That's the same picture we saw before. Flight simulator atmosphere plan. <laughs> Service charge included. Consumption tax included. No meals. This plan cannot. This plan cannot sit on the seat in the simulator or touch the instruments. But you can see the flowing view of the flight and something. And the entire cockpit from behind the cockpit over the clear acrylic board. So I guess there's a board across that. So you can pay and just look at it. Or you can pay more and actually uh, use it. The images are the day and night versions of the route to fly off Hineda Airport. Make a whirlwind and land on Hineda. Oh, okay, so there we go. That answers our question. So you're not going to be able to fly all around the world with it. You're basically taking off from the airport and coming around and landing again. So this could be, the graphics could be completely custom made. Um, it could be from prepared and, and, and it's just limited to that one area. Um, it'll be interesting. After landing, Hanita Excel Hotel Tokyo looks behind and spots on the gate 59. Please look for Hanita Excel Hotel Tokyo over the window from the cockpit. Now, this is a rough translation uh, with Google Translate. I'm sure that uh, to be more accurate, it's probably uh, not this. But anyway, hey, if you speak Japanese or you know you can read and write it, uh, go here to this article, and I have I'll have a link in the description. Click on this page uh, for the room, and maybe you can translate. Maybe you can translate what this says. Um, may maybe there's something that Google Translate actually missed. But uh, this looks absolutely cool. I think this is something like every flight simulator uh, enthusiast dream right here is being able to fly in something like this. There are people who actually make custom cockpits with this type of thing. It just blows my mind. I would love to do something like that. I just don't have the room. I don't have the room for it. But this would be so cool to do. What do you guys think? Did you know about this? Um, would you pay money to go to, to go see it? <laughs> to go see it? To go fly it? Um, of course, you'd have to pay money to go fly. <laughs> no pun intended, but you know, might as well throw a pun in there. You'd have to fly to Japan. Uh, Tokyo. Yeah, Tokyo, Japan. You'd have to fly to Japan to uh, go to this hotel to be able to fly it. And, and the flight would be limited, but I don't know. M maybe, you know, tie that in with maybe some other things. My wife wants to go to Japan. She wants to go to Japan so bad. She loves Japanese culture. Um, and this would just be uh, a cool thing for us if we had the money to be able to just go to Japan for like maybe a weekend, stay at this hotel. Um, you know, I could fool around with the flight simulator in the evening. Uh, it sounds like it's good just for one flight from you, you take off from the airport, fly around and land back on it again. So um, it's, it, it's probably not going to be any more than that, but to be able to do that, you know, I, I get, something cool like that and uh and and you know we'll get to 
go around Tokyo and, and see things. I don't know. It seems like a really cool thing. I should look into it. I should look into it, see how much all that's going to cost. But, yeah, let me know what you think about this in the comments. And uh, if you're new to this channel, subscribe, uh, because I got a whole bunch of stuff on this uh, channel. And I do have Flight Simulator stuff on this channel. And not just FSX um, or X-Plane. I got stuff uh, dating back to the Commodore 64 and Microsoft Flight Simulator 1 and 2. And I've got this... Um, Flight Simulator 4 Adventure Series that I got going on, which I I actually custom program adventures for Flight Simulator 4, and it's got um, air traffic uh, control and uh, chatter, uh, you know, real life chatter. Not well, okay, it's not live, but it's uh, actual recorded chatter and custom scenery and. Uh, custom air traffic and stuff that I created so if you love flight simulator definitely subscribe to this channel I've got a whole bunch of different uh, types of things that I, I think you'll like uh, other than that thanks for watching and I'll see you on another rambling video